www.beststrategies.com. Hello, this is Daniel Grady with a quick look at the markets for today, Wednesday, February 19th. We'll start with a look at the economic calendar and coming up at 9.30 GMT, we have unemployment data coming out from the United Kingdom, as well as the uh, minutes from the latest Bank of England uh, meeting, that's at 9.30 GMT. Then at 12 o'clock GMT, we have mortgage applications from the United States. At 1.30, we have building permits and housing starts. These are uh, important indicators of the American economy for performance. And then uh, the major event of the day is at 7 o'clock GMT in the evening when we have um, the minutes from the latest FOMC meeting. Going over to the markets, the S&P 500 uh, rose by just over 0.1% yesterday, continuing this uh, this strong upwards trend. Uh, performance during the Asian session with Asian stocks was relatively mixed. We have uh, positive results out of uh, Japan and uh, the Chinese markets were, were down. Going to the session today, uh, the S&P 500 futures are down by 0.1% at the beginning of the session, as well as uh, FTSE 100 futures. Um, the euro, well, the dollar has been expressing uh, some significant weakness over the last uh, 10 to 11 days, um, and this has been reflected here in currency pairs. The the euro versus the dollar has been moving uh, continuously higher, but this is more in response to general dollar weakness than, uh, than strength in the euro. It's trading above uh, support at 137.10 and uh, resistance at 138. Uh, same case here with the pound. However, the pound has been uh, coming off the top of this uh, long-term uh, trend line. Uh, it, yesterday, it bounced off uh, support here at 165.50, and we have our next level of resistance at 167.50. The yen uh, also um, strengthened versus the dollar here, and it's it dropped below support at 102.30, which has now become resistance. And then below that, we have support at 101.30. If it were to break above here, it could move towards 103.30. And uh, finally, we have gold, which continues to uh, rise. Oh, it continues to go higher. This is mostly catching uh, analysts by surprise. This is also mostly in response to uh, continued dollar weakness. It came up to uh, resistance here at 1,325. Uh, after a strong run like this, the, the, we have an increasing chance of, uh, of a correction in the short term. If that weren't to happen, we have our next level of resistance at 1,356. If not, we have uh, support at 1,315 and below that 1,290. And um, that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy trading.